barbershop conversation. So I um I was I a couple of a couple of subscribers sent me the Derek James interview. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's MK Boxing. Damn, KB Boxing, RB Boxing, one of the two, but type in Derek James in the YouTube. It'll probably pop up. And um <laughs> I saw Derek James. He was drinking his water, right? And uh he says one of the guys asked him a question, and Derek James says, which one? <laughs> Oh, man. The humble hustle is real, man. I love it, man. Derek James is on top of the world. He asked him a question about a fighter. And Derek James was like, shit, which fighter are you talking about? I got them all. <laughs> Anyways, man. So I cut the, so I immediately cut the interview off. And I was like, shit, I want to be on top of the world, too. So I'm, I'm, I'm in my, I, I went from the living room to my gym. I'm about to get a workout in and cut this music on. But, uh. I mean, Derek James is an awesome person, man. Uh, uh, I spent hours with him on the road just talking. I mean, a sum of hours, not hours at a time, but just the sum of him. And uh, he got his son in the boxing. I believe his, his son does some type of media relations for Fox or PBC or something like that. Maybe he's moved on. But um, uh, it's a beautiful thing, man, to see people succeed. You have uh, Errol Spence, Anthony Joshua, Frank Martin. Uh, I'm, I'm just talking about the names. Um, Ryan Garcia, Jamel Charles, all million dollar fighters. So every, so I mean, he's getting paid handsomely, man, for his for his work, and it's just beautiful to see. Um, the press tour starts tomorrow. Uh, I'll be in the gym, so I won't watch it live. We have basketball practice tomorrow, so. Uh, I won't. I don't think I'll be able to watch it live. So uh, I'll I'll catch the. I'll react to it. They'll be in L.A. tomorrow, and then um, New York on the following day. So it's a good day. It'll get people excited. This fight needs to needs more attention. Needs more and more attention. Um, I, I I wish him well. I got. I would agree that Terrence Crawford is the favorite. You know, just for simple reasons, Earl's been out 15 months. Terrence Crawford just fought. Uh, he's been in the public eye more so, so fans are more attached to him. Uh, I have Earl winning by 11th round stoppage. Uh, I, I just think it's just, I think Terrence Crawford is a hell of a fighter. But I have Earl stopping him in 11th round. Uh, Frank Martin fights two weeks prior to that. I don't know who he's fighting. That fight is not getting no promotion. I don't know what the hell's going on there. Jamel Charlo's not Jamel Charlo. J Rock is fighting in a couple of weeks. They're not getting no attention. I love J Rock style. I love J Rock as a as a man. Um, it's just a beautiful thing. And you know what's cool? And this is just my perception. This is my perception. Uh. Derrick James elevated Jamel Charlo as a boxer. And I believe with the with Jamel, excuse me, with Derrick James being a consistent man. See what I know about I haven't spoken to him in like two years, so I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm just gonna from last I heard, he had a full time job and he was still training. Uh and he's consistent. How I know he's consistent is I saw a video two weeks ago or three weeks ago with Earl Spence in the gym and that guy with one arm is still in the gym training, shooting, throwing those shots. So there's a level of consistency with Derrick James. There's no turnover. You know, his ego is not bigger than his gym. Um, what else can I say? Um, oh, about Jamel Charlo. I like Jamel Charlo. Brian Custard went to his house for the final four. I thought that was beautiful. I love that. Uh, I'm very hard on Jamel because uh, I got shooters that'll kill you and they'll do years in time for me. I, I thought that was just sheer ignorance. Moreover than that, I think the consistency of Derrick James has played a huge part in Jamel Charlo's development outside the ring. 
I clipped a piece of his of his interview with God damn it. What interview did he have that went viral? Oh, oh, Fight Hub City, um, Fight Town City with uh, Steven Jackson. He says, I've been a part of my child's life every day of his life. I thought that was beautiful. Like, um, you guys know where I stand on fatherhood since day one, since day one. And so you guys know, one of the reasons PBC got mad at me because I kept taking my kids to the press conference. I kept taking Lincoln to press conferences. What's that lady name? Susie, Stacy. What's the lady that don't like me at PBC? Anyways, I forgot her name. Shelly, Sylvia, not Sylvia. I forgot the lady's name that don't like me at PBC. But uh, she used to tell me, you can't bring your son. <laughs> I did it like 10 to 15 times, dog. But anyways, man. Um, um, Rebecca, we'll just, I don't know. Y'all know who I'm talking about, the media credential lady. And, um, but just the sheer development of Jamel Charles admirable. Um, we all know the redemption story in Earl Spence. Uh, uh, it's great to see. And I think Derek James, Derek James, she got train of the year this past weekend. He should be in a running for man of the year. I think Kevin Cunningham should be in a running for what he's done with keeping Adrian Broner attached to box. I know people are have their opinions on how Adrian Broner looked, but the, but to go through three three promotional companies in less than a year and keep that man attached to boxing, PBC, BLK Prime, Don King, and have that man walk into the ring Friday. I think he's done an amazing job. I think Kevin Cunningham, Derek James. Uh, there are some other ones I'm, that I just can't think of. I think Tank Davis needs to go back to Kevin Cunningham. Um, there's a lot of great men in boxing that are huge, huge assets to these fighters. And um, uh, I always, I posted about three months ago on my Instagram. Y'all should forever thank y'all coaches. Because y'all coaches are do thankless jobs, and and Derek James is the ones that get and Kevin Cunningham are the ones that get paid handsomely for their for their duties. But there are coaches like me who volunteer. I'm about to go volunteer in about an hour uh, for Lincoln's basketball team. I don't get paid for it. I don't. I'm not desiring to get paid for it. I'm just saying, like all across the world, there are trainers that uh, do thankless jobs, man, and uh, they should be appreciated. Um, uh, and uh, the jury is still out on Anthony Joshua, but we'll see. But he's, he's fighting um, uh, Deontay Wilder next, so I hear. So uh, that's going to suck for Earl Spence and <laughs> Derek James because <laughs> they're cool. But me knowing me knowing Deontay Wilder, he'll give Earl Spence a pass on that fight because is that's his camp. Derrick James is his guy. You gotta root for your guy. You know, like I mean, like your guy, meaning like your trainer, your your spiritual leader, if you want to call Derrick James that. I don't know. That's too much, but uh, but yeah, man, I I was watching that interview and the fact that he said which one? Oh, that shit was that shit was profound to me. I haven't finished watching the interview. I'm about to start working out, but um, I got about 55 minutes to work out before I go before I go coach Lincoln. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm just undecided on what music I'm going to listen to. I was thinking about La Russell, thinking about La Russell. Um, you know, so we'll see. It's day 11. We're in day 11 right now uh, to Spence versus Crawford fan camp and. Uh, Let's get it, man. Life is good. I'm in the gym, as you guys can see. I got my home gym. I'm still building it out, um, but uh, it's coming. But uh, but yeah, man, that's it, man. Congratulations, Derrick James, winning trainer of the year. This is the year of Derrick James, man. And uh, you know how the Asians have, we celebrate Chinese New Year every year. Um, so this is the year of DJ, <laughs> whatever animal that is. <laughs> So anyways, man, y'all have a great day. Have a great uh, team, Spence. Have a great um, promotional tour. I don't know if you can call two cities a tour. I mean, I, I don't know. But uh, 
hopefully Derek James and Terrence Crawford and Bo Mack can uh, do some stuff together to promote this fight. I think the more they're attached, and, and I think with the with the creation of the internet, I think they should do some creations. I think Jordan should do a live with, with uh, Bernie the Boxer, I think, on their own, with no mediator or no in-between. I think, why is Spence going to be Crawford? Simple as that. Maybe I should set Jordan and Bernie the Boxer up. I don't want to be a part of it. I, I think they're great at holding their own. They're very articulate, very intelligent. So um, I think, let me get back, digress. Bernie the Boxer versus Jordan, right? Who else? Uh, uh, Derek James and Bomack. Or Red, or the, forgive me for not knowing the Latino trainer he has, but he has three trainers. Bomack is the more popular one. Uh, I think that'll be important. And I don't think Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford will. I don't think that I don't think they're built like that, but I think they should. I think because they talk a lot through Twitter, they might as well do it in person in about two weeks. You know what I mean? Like how's camp? How's camp down there? You know what I mean? Going live. You know what I mean? I'm break your face. I remember Tevin Farmer and Mickey Bay did it, and it was fun on my platform. They did it on someone else's platform. Oh, on Blue Bud's platform, it was pretty dope. So, anyways, man, I just want to say congratulations, Derek James. You got five top fighters. I'm proud of you. It's the year of DJ and uh, have a great tour. Uh, it's very palpable, tangible. You can see the impact that you've had on Jamel Charles' career. Um, I thought Jamel Charles was Jamal Charles' little brother. I'll be honest. I'm not lying. And then Jamel just kept on ascending, kept on ascending, kept on his ascension. And it hasn't stopped yet. Um, you know, you're going to have to find ways to get some fights, be more active because you got to make some money. Um, uh, you got to be creative in those ways. But uh, um, anyways, I'm belaboring the point. Barbershop conversation. Congratulations, Derek James. You're on top of the world right now, man. And uh, it, 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 it should be commended and respected and admired. So barbershop conversations. I'm about to go work out. Derek James said, which one? Shit, I'm about to go to this gym and be like, which exercise am I doing? I'm gone. Peace. And he has an elevator in his house, y'all. I forgot. He has an elevator in his house. So all the, Derek James is all the way up. Congratulations, man. Peace.